There's a piece of film on here. I thought it was really going to be tough to get off, but it wasn't hard at all. I just lifted one edge, and there it is. It's like a little clear piece. And then there's another piece, and I think this is the one that we'll be replacing with some uh, polarized film uh, my client sent me that he bought at A Flash uh, in, here in Texas at polarization.com and, and that's just supposed to be an inverse polarization so uh, this one will I'll have to peel off so uh, see you in a minute okay sure enough this this piece came off real easy once again I just had to get the edge going it's kind of glued on there in fact I spoke too soon it's not coming off easy oh there it goes there it goes so here's our polarizing film so what I need to do whoop it's not drop it on the carpet and get stuff all over it. Uh, but we'll need to clean this and make sure that doesn't get any dust on it. I'll cover it up and we'll put we'll cut another piece of uh, inverse polarization, put it on there and take it out the car and see what happens. Here we go. All right, Chris, I've put our polar polarizing film on here. All it did is make it dark. The numbers are still black. And if you're not looking right at it, it you don't see anything. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll post this video for you. I mean, if you think it's different with a blue gauge face, I, I mean, blue lights behind there, maybe I should get one with a blue. Let's do that. Okay, here's with a blue gauge face and the uh, our polarizing film. It's just made it dark. It's so dark I can't see it with my naked eye. All I can see is the 0.0 on here. Uh, but I have my camera set for a lot of, lot of light. As you can see how bright these are. So, I don't know, Chris. Uh, it's just not the right polarization or we're doing something wrong. Because uh, it's just not uh, having the effect you want. Sorry, dude. I'll post this for you. Okay, now on the bottom side of the LCD, I've removed most of the, the outer layer here, which has a white back to it. And we have a silver metal flake looking thing. Maybe that's the, uh, <laughs> the liquid crystals in there, huh? I don't know. We'll see. But here's our next. Just, just a guess in the dark is all this is. Okay, after removing the white cover from the back of the LCD, now it's just transparent. I don't, I don't know, it's, the numbers are still black, but now I can see the LEDs clearly that are behind here. I'm, I don't know if, if you can really tell that with the video, but uh, yeah, now it's just kind of transparent, but our numbers are still black. Uh, I think we need a different LCD that has white uh, liquid crystal displays on it. Uh, maybe we can uh, find the same number of pins. I'll do a little shopping on the net, but I'll upload this to you, Chris. <clears throat> it's just not working out like we thought, so sorry, dude. 